I generally use a shopping list when I go shopping to make sure that I don't forget anything. And I like to make a list of the parts in my project before starting work for the same reason. Since I use FreeCAD to design my woodworking project, it makes sense to me to create a parts list from my assemblies. It would be great if my assembly workbench of choice could produce that list for me. Fortunately it does. I'll show you how to create a parts list using the A2 Plus workbench in this video. Now let's get started. You can add the following information about a part. Identification number, description, supplier name, supplier's part ID, the supplier's description of the part, and the part's file name. This information is combined into a single spreadsheet and stored in the assembly. I want to create a parts list for this drawer assembly. This is done using the create a spreadsheet of the parts list for this file tool. That's a bit of a mouthful, so I tend to call it the create parts list tool. It works by searching for the part info spreadsheet attached to each part in the assembly and combines them into a spreadsheet attached to the assembly called hash parts list hash. I have already added part information to some of the parts in the assembly, so I can show you how it works. The assembly needs to be the active document, but you don't have to select any parts in the assembly. You can just leave the parts list spreadsheet visible to see the changes as they occur. Since I don't have an existing parts list in the assembly, I'm just going to make the model the active document. Click on the create a spreadsheet of the parts list for this file tool. The tool always tells you to save the assembly first, even when it has been already saved. So click yes to save it. The tool then asks whether you want to iterate recursively over all the included subassemblies. This is simply asking whether you'd like to include the part information contained with any subassemblies as well. My assemblies don't usually contain subassemblies, so I can choose either option as it doesn't make much difference to me. However, if you had an assembly containing say a motor vehicle made up of subassemblies for the gearbox, engine, etc, and these subassemblies contain part information about each part in the subassembly. Then, the yes option would result in a parts list that contains all the parts that make up the entire motor vehicle, whereas the no option would just list the major components. At least, that's my interpretation of how it works, but I've had mixed results so I don't tend to use it. I'm going to select no. You can see that the spreadsheet has five rows, one for each part in the assembly. There is one front, two sides, two draw slips, plus two lines for the parts that didn't have part information when I created the parts list. The asterisks are placeholders for information that is not included. I have created a playlist which will teach you more about the A2 Plus workbench. I have linked the playlist in the card above and in the description below. If you like what you are watching, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Your donation will help to improve the channel. Now that you know how to create a parts list, let's look at how to add part information to parts. I'll add part information to the draw bottom. Click on the create a spreadsheet for ordering or logistics information tool. That's even more of a mouthful than creating a parts list. So I tend to call it add part information tool. This creates an empty spreadsheet called hash part info hash. Now I'll add some basic information about the part. The model needs to be saved so that the part information is stored in the model. Now switch back to the assemblies part list to update it. You don't need to refresh the components in the assembly because the parts list tool will search all the included parts for part information and automatically include it. You will need to remember to search the subassemblies as well if you use them. Click on the create a spreadsheet of the parts list for this file tool. Answer the questions and the part list is updated. I haven't used the subassemblies so I'll choose no for that question. You can see that the part information for the draw bottom is updated, but the drawbacks information has not changed. You can use this tool as often as you like. Any changes made to the part info spreadsheets will be automatically updated in the part list spreadsheet. Additionally, any new part info spreadsheets that the tool finds will also be added to the spreadsheet. This means that you can retrospectively add part information to your parts and include them in your parts list. The parts used in this demonstration were created in the part design workbench. If you like what you're watching, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Your donation will help to improve the channel. You can learn more about the part design workbench in the playlist in the top right and in the description below. You can learn more about the A2 Plus workbench in the playlist in the bottom right or in the description below. I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.